up here on the Mount Sicker property. And we are at a new road that has been put in here over the last couple months. And down below here, there's a mineralized zone. And we are above that. And it looks like the mineralized zone is continuous. If you take a look here, you have mineralization in this area here. So far, about a meter and a half wide. You have a quartz vein here. You got sulfides. Sulfides all throughout here. Sulfides in the quartz. More sulfides in here. So, we are going to take a look at this area and hammer some samples off and see what has been exposed for us. So far, we've determined several veins along this zone. This is the first one here. You have mineralization between that green flag and right there. Two and a half meters running this way. You have more mineralization running that way where that green flag is. And again, you have more where that green flag is. So this is newly exposed never seen before you have sulfides running with chlorite schist and quartz sulfides I'm seeing are mostly pyrite with some calcopyrite a little bit of malachite in some areas. Here you have semi-massive to massive sulfides. And then in the quartz you have disseminated and semi-massive at some points. So not a bad mineralized vein. This is quartz right here. Quartz right here up to here. This is very deteriorated quartz here. And then you have sulfides in your schist and you got more sulfides, massive sulfides right here. And then throughout this, it's disseminated. Up to about right here, you got a bit of quartz right here as well. And then more disseminated. And this is kind of the area where it stops. And then it's just minor disseminated pyrite throughout this up until there. So all your surrounding rock on the outside has disseminated pyrite. This is a piece of the vein I wanted to pull off right now, loosened it up. Sulfides, sulfides. Let's break this open. Very nice. So the second area, about five, six meters away from the first one, has this, see a brecciated quartz vein, disseminated sulfides in here, but 
it looks like a lot of the sulfides have weathered out. This is a, a chunk of quartz. We're finding quartz with pyrite and magnetite. See, little sulfides remain in this piece. This is some of the host rock. You got disseminated pyrite and calcopyrite. Looks like rhyolitic flow. Pretty consistent for all the host rock. This is a first sample that I've pulled from the third area. Quartz and rhyolitic flow, pyrite and calcopyrite. And this area here is again five meters away from the second area and you have quartz from about here interwoven with rhyolite and schist chlorite schist quartz in here quartz in here quartz 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 you got sulfides, sulfides with quartz. And then back here you can see part of the vein, which is very deteriorated and brecciated. So this starts from here and goes all the way over to here it looks like, which would mean this is almost a two meter wide area of mineralization. So we're going to get some samples from this one too. Hammer away. I was trying to justify these as separate veins, but I'm pretty sure based on the strike of these, somewhere back in the mountain these would all meet. So you got a decent sized sulfide vein quartz vein, sulfides, and schist, and rhyolite flow, which starts just on the other side of this green flag. And then you have mineralization all throughout here. You got some massive sulfide lenses. You got some quartz veins. You got some here. You got some here. Continues up there from down here. All up there you have little sulfide lenses along here. You have a large quartz vein sulfide lens here. And then mineralization stops roughly here. There's a little bit on the outside, but it looks like it's stopping right there. So quite a large zone got some nice width to it host rock mineralized with pyrite and minor calcopyrite you have a bit of magnetite in there as well These are a few of the samples that I've taken from this side here. Another one here. Some host rock with pyrite and calcopyrite. These are all deteriorated quartz veins. Weathered chunks everywhere. Quartz with disseminated pyrite. A lot of the sulfides have weathered out of that sample.
see just loaded with sulfides. Again, more weathered quartz with your sulfides leached out. Another little sulfide lens chunk. More sulfides. Sulfides all in here. Quartz with sulfides. Here's a few samples that we've taken off. Taken off this area here. Very fine pyrite in this sample. See the pyrite layered in between your rock. Everything is just very cooked in this sample. More samples from a sulfide lens. More samples here. Another sample here. This was taken from up top there. So, a nice brand new zone from edge to edge. It's about 25 meters, multiple veins, some up to two meters, some smaller little sulfide lenses, some small little quartz veins, but uh, a very nice zone. And uh, this is a new road put in in the last few months so very interesting definitely going to get some results for some of the samples here thanks for watching we'll see you guys in the next one